Sega. That was horrible time, Donut. Shout out to Christian Whitehead for remaking this port. <laughs> so yeah, this is Donut and Sasquatch. Welcome to the Sonic CD Facebook exclusive LP. Ain't that a mouthful? All right. Please accept this hard drive. Um. Let's put this music down. I think we should change it. Yeah, I'm gonna change this shit. To make an egg man. Change it. Well, for this game, we're gonna do what the U.S. soundtrack is. It's something different. Everyone always plays with the Japanese, and well, we play with the English for for change. Yep. So we'll be doing a new file. Get rid of this. Okay. Okay. I know it's showing when I do it. New game. Tails. We'll say Tails for a later time. <laughs> oh, we're playing Sonic. And this neat little intro. <laughs> when we do Japanese intro, we're gonna sing it. We'd have to study the lyrics first. <laughs> oh, hey, Doma, there's that rainbow. That rainbow! <laughs> Something tells me that this part is actually... They, they sped up the animation because you would think that when uh, they sing the rainbow part, that it, it'd sync up, but it doesn't. <laughs> oh, wait. Shout out to Toei Animation for making this. It's Toei or Towie? Uh, toy. Like, it's like toy, but it's like the P.O. guy. Ah. Isn't it kind of odd that people who made Dragon Ball Z actually made this too? Yeah, I know. I, I, I get like classic Dragon Ball Z flashbacks. Break it at rock. Um, I honestly believe the art style inspired the movie. Oh, here's the secret. Supposedly there's a two second cutout scene where it's supposed to show Eggman's face holding down the chain to Little Planet. Yeah. I don't know why they never put it in. I think it was only for the Japanese version. Um, oh yeah, we are playing the port for the 360. Which essentially was a was sort of a remake, but not really. Well, it wasn't it wasn't really a port, it was more built up. It was built up from an existing game, but they just made it more high definition. Indeed. Alright, this is our first zone. We're in Palm Creek and TP. We a bet Boston. Alright, so what we're gonna do, are we gonna are we gonna try to get a good future? Are we gonna get the time zones or what? Yeah, I think we should go for a good future. Yeah. You think that going for the time gym time zones would be easy, but oh no. They like to take you over. Ooh, damn, you go right to the chase. Do it. Yep. I'm on the ball today. <laughs> so anyways, this game was released on Sega CD in 1993. It was in production simultaneously with Sonic 2. But this one came out after. Or no, it was produced after Sonic 2, which is the reason why you see Sonic 1 graphics. Or, right for Sonic 2. Can I mention the past soundtrack? Oh yeah. I have. I'll leave you to stop. Oh. <laughs> oh, you got hit by the same damn enemy. God damn it. It's a completely different time. Anyway, uh, the soundtrack, although we're playing the uh, American soundtrack, it actually has the Japanese uh, soundtrack when you're in the past times. I don't know why, but I kind of like it. You could have just rolled them into it. Yeah, but I wanted to say that's the robot who bought a favorite. Generator, teleporter, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, basically now there's no enemies in the world. Cool. You see there's a bunch of flowers left and right. And, and I want to move to the future. Wait, you don't want to get, uh... I guess not. What? Just for those, uh, those generators. I thought there was only here. Uh, actually, I think you can just be straight over the boat past any future. Look at all these flowers. Gotcha. Spin out. Super Peel Out. Oh yeah! This game also introduces a new move called the Super Peel Out. Press up and A. There we go. We're gonna do that. <laughs> You always forget where they are. Should I really look for it instead of the computer? 
Oh, well, you, de you destroy the robot generator. Uh, I don't know if you have to destroy the um, sonic holograms. It's not essential, but uh, I'll show it up. I'll quickly look for it. I think it's at the beginning. Or maybe it's somewhere down there. There, there it is. Look at it. He's playing with the he's playing with the animals. Not playing with animals. Look, the little bird's flying, and then he's like, he's dancing. He's pushing the little flicky. Oh. Can you see the squirrel? <laughs> Don't do that. When you destroy, you get flickies that appear everywhere. All the animals. Now you have a guaranteed good good uh, good feature. So now you can finish the level. Or this is the path. I want to go to the future. Those are skills. Get the momentum and then Yeah, so anyways, this game also introduces time travel. I'll oh, check this out. <laughs> so yeah, this game introduces time travel. What? Why? I've been lied to. Well, you should try to see what a good future looks like. Actually, there's a reason why I wanted to go here. Um, I'll, I'll talk about the past, the time travel here later. I'll talk about it now. No, wait. I'll talk about it after the game. Give me a sec. Who's that? Get the fuck away from me! I'm gonna hug you. No, I don't want you to hug me. Okay, fine. She loves you. Look at, look at all the hearts. Sweet. She's so horny. <laughs> wow. Let go of me, I don't want you. I don't love you! Hey, I wonder if you let Amy hug him for like three minutes. <laughs> and jump off the screen and be like, I'm not out of here. <laughs> no, I gotta go, bitch. No! Man, I should put a You're Gonna Love Me sound clip right there. While I'm running away from it. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. That's how we made a good future. Destroying the robot teleporter generator, robot ascender gives you a good future. I hit the special ring and it takes you to the special stage. What's all? We're on flight of Namek. Yeah, Namek. We're on Namek. Chris just used his death ball and uh, we're running out of time so we gotta get through the UFOs. Oh yeah. I still don't understand though. Why are UFOs? I don't know why either. Did A-Man just get a fetish for UFOs? Well, little planet is like from, it's like an unknown planet, so I'm guessing UFOs. But oh well, you got one, one little ship left. No! Don't touch the water. Yeah, in special cages, touching the water will decrease your time. I don't know why though. That's it. Um, rings, you don't really, if you lose them in the stage, you can't die from losing them. And that's our first time, though. All the we won't get them. Oh. We could try to do it. Come on, Dylan, you have to believe in yourself. You gotta believe. But yeah, Final CD introduces the time gimmick of going back from past to future to present. Um, you mainly want to stay in the present and past. Future's never good unless you destroy the robot teleporter, generator, roboticizer. I'm sick of the roboticizer. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the past. I'm usually gonna have trouble with this one. Well, don't do it here. Don't do it here? No, don't. Don't. Ah. I usually have trouble with this one, so. Yeah, I know. I think it's a pet. You could have done it here. Oh, now you go. There's somewhere you could have done it. I know. It's like. There's always this one section where it's like, it's, it's there just so that you can go to the past, so you can time jump it. Yeah. Do all the enemies. No! Don't do that. Why did he- God damn it! Jump before you leave. Jump before you leave? Yeah, do that. So I'm going to the circle. Like that's all. You need to get enough speed. Speed. Alright, do it. Alright, you're here. Alright, there's a pass on. I gotta keep it there. Yeah, don't get any speed. Just try to look for a place where you could actually travel to down. Yeah. I'm coming up. That is good. Well, this one, you actually need a lot of moon and moon shit. Actually, this port, they actually cut down the time you need to actually get 
to the past. Or oh, time travel. It did? Yeah. I knew that. In Sonic CD, it actually takes a little longer. But you read this. That's my thing. Oh, he can do it here. Yeah, he can do it here. I did I did Go into the past, baby. That's not cool. When it was cooking. Maybe my bad. Here's oh, what's that teleporter? Oh, right back? Size it. You wanna try looking for the, uh, the metal sound like generator? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, down here? Yeah, I think it's at the bottom. No, 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 no. I guess. So I think it's like a fucking little corn on the bottom. I don't know. There. There it is. Okay. Stop playing with the Kill it. Alright. Yeah. I got some feelings. Should we go to the beach? No, we're already here. Uh, unfortunately. Stupid rocks. We'll go to the future next time. Maybe some other level will be able to drop it in the future. Very peaceful. Indeed. By the way, it's zone 2. What? You mean act 2? Zone 1, act 2? Maybe it's a typo. Stupid air! Stupid air! So I'm guessing Sonic is traveling throughout the solar system. Maybe like each different level is on a different planet. Maybe. It depends on what kind of movie you follow, but I follow the Mobius one. I think he's on Mobius and not Earth. What's Mobius? Uh, how do I explain it? Basically the atomic based universe. Oh. Earth? Don't go crying, though. I'm not crying. This is a five. You see you're high? I'm not high. Just my eyes itchy. Oh, sorry. I just heard you. Turn that shit you hear it still. Ah. Ah. Is the low-res graphics too much for you? No, it's all some I got really freaking itchy. You're not allergic to your cats, are you? No, I'm not allergic. I didn't touch any of your cats, so... Get out of the water! Can I do it? Uh oh, you hear that? Yeah. Look at here. Hitting those gives you extra time. So essentially, you can save these levels as long as you want to, as long as you hit them. Oh, dude, if you hit that, that would have been perfect. Okay. In the water! How about when you see in the water? That sounds awesome. Now, how much time does hitting that thing give you? Uh, you had 19, I think it gives you 20? Maybe 15? 20 to 15 minutes? Seconds? I don't know, I guess we'll have to see when we go to the next one. Yeah! 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 Oh, you've been trying to alliterate on that? I mean, capitalize on that yes? Oh yeah, Sonic talks in this game. For the first time? <laughs> <laughs> for the first time on the home console. <laughs> to be fair, we talked in this arcade game called Sega Sonic. Yeah, Sonic Sega Sonic, yeah. But we don't want to talk about that. This is a type of trackball game. But as you can see, this is the good feature. It had cherry in the same game. And a pink game, then. He's pink. This is a future. He's, uh, I don't know. Scared. It's like one of... But that's what this game is known for. It means to use for body habits. For scary music. Oh, 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 oh. Get over. Hmm? That ass with the jetpack. Oh! Sorry, it looked like I was crouching while I was falling. Yeah. Oh, you notice you don't flee frick flickies in this game, they actually flee flowers. I say flee. 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 I should have did my 